Good morning to all. I am Prashant Jain going to teach you about a pair of linear equations in two variables. Today in part 3 we will continue with the graphical method. In this module we will check the consistency and inconsistency of a pair of equations and then solve the equations graphically. Find the vertices of triangle formed by the above line and x-axis. Also, shading and finding the area of triangle. Also, find the points where the lines cut x and y-axis. So, all of my near and dear ones, let's learn. Now, first of all, check the consistency and inconsistency of these two equations. First of all, find the uh, coefficients of x, y and constant term a1. a1 is the coefficient of x in this equation number 1 and this is the 1. b1 is the coefficient of y in this equation and that is minus 1 c1 is the constant term and that is 1. Here in this equation number 2, first of all a2 that is the coefficient of x 3, b2 coefficient of y that is 2 and c2 is a constant term which is minus 12. Now further First of all, find the ratio of a1 and a2. The ratio of a1 and a2 is the value of a1 is 1 and the value of a2 is 3. So, ratio becomes 1 upon 3. Now, check the ratio of b1 and b2. It means b1 upon b2 and that is the coefficient uh, uh, the b1 is minus 1 and the b2 is 2. Also, we see that here the ratios of a1, a2 and b1, b2 are not equal. We can say that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. It means the equation have unique solution. It means intersect at a point. Here, we need to find whether the solutions are consistent or inconsistent and the answer is consistent. It means the solution are consistent. Now see the graphical solution of the equations. The first equation is x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 and the points are in the table. Now we take the value of x as 0. We get the value of y is 1. You can do this calculation in your notebooks. Now for the next point. The value of x is 1. If you put the 1, the value of y becomes 2. Now from the second equation, 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. Again draw the points. Now for the value of x as 3, sorry 0, the value of y we get is 6. For the next point, if you put the value of x as 4, we will get the value of y as 0. So these are the four points which you will see that as named R, S, P and Q. Now time to draw the graph. This is the graph paper x-axis, scale and y-axis. Points you will see that scale is 2 cm on the x-axis represent 1 unit and similarly 2 cm on the y axis represents 1 unit. Now, first of all, take the point R01 as the value of x is 0 and the value of y is 1. So, it will represent on the y axis. And you will see the red dot on the y axis. So, this represents the point R0, 1. Times to do the next point, you will see the next dot in the first quadrant as 1, 2s. 
Now, this is a straight line when we join these two points and also this will intersect x axis at minus 1 0. This is the another point which is not in the table and the equation is x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. Now times to draw the another point that is 0 comma 6 x 0 y 6 you will see the red dot on the y axis at point 6 and the next point is 4 comma 0 you will see on the x axis as q comma q 4 comma 0. Now join these red two dots and the equation where these two lines intersect the point is 2 comma 3 and that is a which is not in the table and that is the solution of this equation also now and the equation is 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0 so the solution is x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 3 and the question asks for the shading of the reason with these two lines and x axis you will see the triangle which is shaded here that is the shaded portion of the triangle with the x axis and these two lines and the vertices of these triangles are a b and q a is 2 3 b is minus 1 0 and q 4 0 we name it letter as c 4 comma 0 now it's time to find the area of the triangle as you know that the formula to find area of triangle is very easy that is half base into height so first of all our aim is to find the base and height of this triangle as we see that the base is from this point to this point and this is start from the minus 1 till 4 so till here 1 unit from uh, till here 2 units till here 3 units 4 units and 5 unit it means that total distance from here to here is 5 units so the base is 5 units now time to find the height what is the height it's also we see that height is from here till here and this is 3 till here 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit it means the distance from here to here is 3 units you can find with the help of the scale also if the scale you have taken 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit height is 3 so now on calculation 15 upon 3 square units are the area of this triangle sorry this is 15 upon 2 now one more thing left that is the point cuts on the x-axis x-axis lines first line is this and the second line is this if we see that this is a point on the x-axis cut by the first line and the point is minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 is the point on the x-axis first point and the second point is here this is this this is the second point that is q 4 comma 0 and the last points determined on the y axis cut by these two lines are this is the first point which cuts the y axis and that is r 0 comma 1 cut by the first line and the second point is this that is p 0 comma 6 this is the total sum up about this question in this question we have covered all the points which can be asked in your upcoming examinations that's all friends bye bye